Assalamu alaikum guys. Welcome back to our channel. Today I want to talk about some of the reasons why you should date a Moroccan. So make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss our videos. And welcome back. <laughs> I would love to talk about this because I get so annoyed when all I hear is Moroccans are scammers. Like nothing irks my nerves more than that. <laughs> I have mentioned it so many times in all of my videos just about, but there are lots of reasons why somebody should date a Moroccan. And I actually found a few articles online that talked about it. And, you know, I was reading through the list like, yep, 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 yep. So I'm just going to take this, this list and talk about it here. So I just would love for people to have an open mind when they're dating Moroccans. Just you know, some are good and some are bad. You're going to, you're going to get it from any culture that you go into. Um, there's so many things about Sophia and that I could talk about that I'm not going to in this video, but, but there's so many things about him that I just value so much. And in this article that I read, it kind of talked about some of these things. So and one of the reasons why I think everybody should date a Moroccan is because they know how to feed you. That is their love language for sure. <laughs> Sofian and his mom tried to feed me to death <laughs> in a good way. They really did love and cater to me and were giving me all kinds of different foods. And I just, you know, I don't really eat that much normally. So it was just kind of like, okay, this is too much food. But what I love about it is that they cater to you, you know, they make you feel welcome with their food. Um, definitely. And I was actually really impressed because when I was there, they were doing, I can't remember the name, which I'm still learning. Um, but they were sacrificing the sheep. And I saw a kid, <laughs> a kid that like, he knew how to cut it, you know, cut the whole sheep and knew what he was doing. And I was just so impressed by that. Like the children are really raised to know how to cut chicken and cut sheep. And, you know, American children wouldn't know unless you grow, unless you grow up in the country, like none of their, none of the kids are going to know how to like cut a, a chicken from <laughs> taking the feathers out and chopping it up. And I was just really impressed by like the children that knew how to do these kind of things. So I, that kind of goes into it. Like they are really independent. Um, I do like that. So next is, so of course feeding you, that's like a huge major thing for me. <laughs> I thought it was great. Um, the next is they are outgoing and social. I love that these people, Moroccans in general, are very welcoming and very social and they make you feel very, very welcome. I, I love that about Moroccan people. Um, very welcoming. If they're not welcoming, there's, there's a chance that you're just mean. <laughs> but I didn't get that from anybody and I haven't yet in Morocco. I have not gotten a vibe from anyone that was negative in any kind of way. They are very welcoming people. Um, this is an important one. They have strong values and morals, and this has to do with the way they're raised. Their morals and values are really good. Um, they, especially good Muslim men, they value, they fear God, which is Allah. They fear Allah and they value family time and being in the mosque and um, making sure that they are um, held accountable for things. You know, they are really genuinely, they care about their morals and they take them very seriously. So you got to have an open mind with that because you're not going to come in and change their mind on a lot of things. So <laughs> just make sure you're prepared for that. Um, but that is very, a good thing, a really great thing. Um, they are affectionate. <laughs> I won't talk too much about this one, but they are very passionate and affectionate. And um, also if 
they're not, then that might just be who they are. But in general, I find that they are. <laughs> um, they're independent. Most of them speak one or two languages um, or two or more, excuse me, languages. Sofian speaks Spanish, Arabic, English. Actually, it was one of those things that just really drawn me to him because I was just like, wow, this guy speaks three languages and I can barely speak two. <laughs> I know I know Spanish a little bit, but I was really impressed by the fact that he spoke so many languages. Um, in Morocco, they speak French, Arabic, and where he's at, they speak a lot of Spanish because he's up north. Um, but there's a lot of different languages that you can learn. And I really appreciate having someone that speaks so many different languages. It's really a great thing. Um, and I mean, you know, it just being bilingual or having bilingual children is really cool. Um, that was it on this list. I'm surprised actually, because I, I could go on and on why you should date a Moroccan. <laughs> but uh, the biggest important things to me is that they value their mother. Um, their mother is very important to them. Their mother is number one. And I appreciate that because um, they have a different sense of responsibility um, to care for their mother, to care for their family, to provide for their families. Um, you, you will definitely feel like protected in that sense. Um, I love my husband for making me feel protected and secure. And um, I value that he is very, very strong in his faith. That's the other thing, which I already talked about, that he is very strong in his faith, which made me strong in my faith too. So I value that a lot in him. Um, I can't really think of a lot of other things that were different from the list that I read, but I do love that he feeds me. <laughs> I felt like such a queen when I was there with him because he fed me, even on his birthday, he fed me uh, breakfast and he likes to cook. I really appreciate he, you know, he made our wedding cake and it was amazing. Um, he knows how to cook very well. And I appreciate that a lot. I appreciate his knowledge for a lot of things that I don't know about. And that's because I grew up in the city. <laughs> I am a city girl and he knows a lot of different things that I can value and appreciate. And, you know, there's probably lots of other different things that I could talk about. And I hope that I, if I remember them, I'll post them below. But those are some of the things that I really love about Moroccan men in general and just Moroccans. Like, I'm sure the women are lovely too, but I can't really give my input on that. But um, <laughs> I just really would love to end the stigma of Moroccans being scammers, this and that. Like, there's so much greatness about them and so much peace that comes from them especially good ones what they're so peaceful and joyous and happy and they just want the same for you and i really can respect that i can respect and appreciate people like that um they do have a laid back sense of life so when you get over there it's very chill like everybody's friendly everybody's happy everybody's helpful i remember being in the mountains we went to this place which i really love i, I don't i don't know the name by heart but um someone's car it broke down and the whole community came together to try to figure out what was wrong with it and i remember one time being broke down here in colorado well not here i'm i'm in florida but in, when i lived in colorado my car was broke down on the side of the road. Did anybody stop for me? No. <laughs> and it reminded me of that, that day when I was like, wow, this whole community came together to figure out what, the, what was wrong with this car. And it was just the men, you know, there was like 10 to 15 men that came around the car and was trying to figure out what was wrong with it. And I think I mentioned this in another video, but that really, that really sat in my soul. Like I watched that and I just, 
you know, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> like, how many times have you had a situation happen and someone actually come and help you, like, willingly, you know? Um, so these people are amazing. <laughs> and I just want everyone to have a dose of dating Moroccans because I really, I love them. <laughs> and um, hopefully you get a chance to go over there and visit Morocco and see what it's really like in different cities and appreciate their, their culture, definitely. Um, but I just wanted to talk a little bit about that. I hope you guys have a good day and make sure you come back for the next video. Bye. Thank you.